It's mentioned that a particular person, he had a lot of love for his wife. And they both used to live together. The wife also loved him. And it's mentioned that one day, this particular person, he went to the market to find a slave who can serve them. So it's mentioned that he went to the market and he found one particular person. He liked him compared to the other slaves. And it's mentioned that he said to him that, would you like to work for me? Would you like to serve us? We will give you so much money. It's mentioned the slave said, I don't mind working from you. But the, I have got three conditions. If you act upon my conditions, if you fulfill my conditions, then inshallah I will work for you. So the person asked that, which conditions are you going to place? It's, he mentions that number one, you will not stop me from performing my five daily salah. Number two, you can command me to do anything during the day, but at night, you can't command me to do anything. And number three, you will give me a separate room in your house, which no one can enter apart from me. Allahu Akbar. So this particular person, he thought to himself that these three conditions, there's no side effect to these. These are three good conditions. The number one, I will not stop him from reading his namaz. Number two, I will give him such a room in the house that no one else can enter. And number three, he will only serve me during the day and at night, I will not disturb him. So it's mentioned that he brought this particular person home. Now, this person, he would serve him during the day, and in the evening, he would go to his room. And talking about the room, it's mentioned that this individual, he said to his new slave, that go into my house, whichever room you, put, you like, you can stay in that room. It's mentioned that this slave, he had the option to choose any room in the house. And it's mentioned that he chose the broken room. So the master told him that, listen, why have you chosen this room? This is the broken room. You've got so many other choices. Why have you broke, chose this room? Listen to the response he gave. He says that, do you not know that even a damaged room turns into a garden by the blessings of the dhikr of Allah, subhanAllah. So it's mentioned that this slave used to serve his master during the day and in the evening he used to go to his room. One day the master, he was passing his room and it's mentioned that he entered his room. Remember, this was one of the conditions that you will, no one will enter my room. But his master entered his room one day. He saw that the room was filled with light and the slave was in, doing sajda in the court of Allah. There was a bright, bright lantern on his head hanging between the sky and the earth. And he was humbly saying in the court of Allah, that Ya Allah Azawajal, I need to serve my master during the day. Ya Allah Azawajal, if it wasn't for me serving my master during the day, Ya Allah Azawajal, I would do your worship during the day and I would also worship you during the night. Meaning, during the night was the only time that he could do the worship of Allah because during the day, he would serve his master. So he's saying in the court of Allah, Ya Allah, if it wasn't for me for serving my master, then Ya Allah Azawajal, I would worship you day, I would worship you night. And it's mentioned, the master observed him. He's thinking to himself, that, look at this individual. My slave, he's such a pious person of Allah. And he mentioned that in the morning, the light had disappeared and the roof returned to its original state. Next day, he told this, this whole incident to his wife. He told, him, he told her exactly what happened. And it's mentioned that next night, he took his wife to the room this time as well. And both of them, they seen this beautiful scene. And it's mentioned that they were both crying and they observed that slave for the whole night. Now what happened? The next day, the slave, he was called by the master. And the master said to him, listen, I will free you for the sake of Allah. You can, I seen what you do during the nights. I seen you the night before and I seen you last night as well. You were doing such that in the court of Allah and you have this desire to worship Allah during the day and during the night. I free you for the sake of Allah. I will pay for everything for you. You can do the dhikr of Allah. You can worship Allah during the day and you can worship them during the night. Nice mention. This slave, what, would have, what should have happened is that he would, should have got happy that, listen, I got free now, I'm free now from my master and I can worship Allah during the day and I can worship during the night. But it's mentioned that this slave, he started to cry. He started to tremble and he said in the court of Allah, oh, keep up the secrets. My secret has been revealed. Now that my secret is not hidden anymore, I no longer wish to live. It's mentioned this slave fell to the ground. When the master went towards him, his soul left his body. Allahu Akbar. Look at his passion for the dhikr of Allah. Look at his passion for the worship of Allah. Did you see that this slave, he did not want the worship that he used to do to be revealed to other people. He wanted to keep it as a secret between himself and Allah. Now today, if you look in our society, if you look at us, what happens? 
We do something good, we want the whole society to know. We want our whole family to know. We want our neighbors to know that so-and-so person, he's given a hundred pounds to the masjid. He's given money to the masjid. Brother, he goes to the masjid to read his five daily salah. Brother, he reads his tajid salah. We read the Quran, we want the people to know that we read the Quran. If you look at the pious people of Allah, my dear respected Islam with us and the viewers of Madani channel, they want you to keep their worship hidden. They, didn't, they had this desire that whatever we do in the court of Allah, whatever worship we do in the court of Allah, it should remain between us and Allah.